alaikum. Uh, hello, everybody. It's my pleasure um, to present my work with the ESPCR. And also, it's my, my pleasure uh, to present this work with the expert of stem cell in Egypt and out of Egypt. Thank you, for Dr. Hala, for these opportunities to share uh, this presentation. My title is Intraarticular Injection of Expanded Autologous Bone Marrow Mesenchymal Cell in Moderate and Severe Knee Osteoarthritis. Is safe? Phase one and two study. Uh, first of all, osteoarthritis or degenerative arthritis or osteoarthrosis. All of us know it's a, a progressive breakdown of articular cartilage uh, causing dysfunction of the knee joint. Beside chronic disability, negative impact on the quality of life due to the pain, swelling, and uh, walking inability. Unfortunately, at the last decades, it's common among adults, about 65 years. But nowadays, the incidence increasing among younger population, and this is maybe due to the wrong lifestyle. So what's the causes of this direct destruction? Maybe for direct trauma, chronic degeneration for the mechanical uh, overload, subchondral bone abnormality like avascular necrosis, osteochondritis, beside implants of anabolic and catabolic metabolism. According to the Kligren and Lawrence classification, we have four grades of uh, osteoarthritis severity. Grade one, it's intact cartilage. Grade two, superficial fissure and cracks. Uh, sorry, uh, grade, uh, grade one. Grade two, lesion less than half of the thickness of articular cartilage. And grade three, lesion greater than half the thickness of the articular cartilage. Grade four, lesion extending to subchondral bone. We are focusing on grade two and grade three, the preterminal phase. So the knee joint consists of tibiofemoral and uh, patellofemoral joint, which consists of the hyaline cartilage or articular cartilage. We are focusing on the articular cartilage. Beside the ligament support, meniscus discus, which is consists of fibrocartilage and synovial fluid uh, surrounded by the synovial membrane. So, what is the articular cartilage in knee? It's mean functional chondrocyte. It's a white, tough, flexible connective tissue. It's work like a cushion for bone at joint to lower the frictions gliding stress uh, and composed of chondrocyte, collagen, proteoglycan and other matrix protein and lipids. What are chondrocytes? Chondrocytes it's, uh, are the cells that are responsible for the production and maintenance of a structural component of articular cartilage. It's ana anaerobic cells and receive their nutrition via diffusion of substance within synovial fluid. So, Stem cells, it will convert to mesenchymal stem cells or as a part of stem cells or as, as uh, Professor Kablin, it's a Kablin stem cells. I promise I will distribute this new knowledge. And it will convert or differentiate to chondrocytes and that means a production of cartilage. So chondrogenesis, mesenchymal stem, stem cell, chondroplast reside in the lacunae and built the extracellular matrix and chondrocyte divided and maintains the extracellular matrix. Extracellular matrix, 90% about collagen type 2, 10, 11, glycosamine glycans, chondrotin sulfate, keratin sulfate, protoglycans, agrican, and water. So what's the hypothesis? Why does cartilage take long time to heal? in knee, I mean the articular cartilage in knee. Blood vessels and nerve are found only in the pericardium and do not enter the cartilage itself. 
highline cartilage or articular cartilage in knee joint doesn't, uh, uh, does not have perichondrium layer. So this is the problem. Nutrients and oxygen diffuse through the cartilage matrix to the cell. So what are the theory of inability to repair and why we are using mesenchymal stem cell? Maybe there is no enough growth factor for chondrocyte to divide and release the extracellular matrix, which I mean the niches of chondrocyte or the stem cells in the cartilage tissue, or there is a growth factor, but there is no enough progenitor for dividing and repairing. So what's the treatment option or the conventional treatment option? The breadment arthroscopy, this is, uh, sorry, this is the image, and the microfracture, articular cartilage implantation, and moiasic plasty, it looks like articular cartilage inflammation. All these options need, to my knowledge, for general anesthesia. So what's our aims? Patient refuse knee surgery, and this is make the, the osteoarthritis progress from grade to grade. So it's a new kind of treatment option. Assessment of clinical outcome of patient injected by in vitro expanded bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells, and it's mean mesenchymal, it's safe. Minimization, sorry, 